gonna go on and give you all that real shit the way I always do. God has a way of forcing us to pause and slow down. God has a way of forcing us to focus on and pay attention to things that the world and the pressure that we all live under to hustle, get money, mortgages and rents and car notes and private school and hustling and any and everything that's within the reality of where you're at. Everything about this life has created a sense of urgency and everybody has been scattered. Most of us are at home right now and don't even know what, it, what it's like to be home and not flying and traveling and Ubers and Lyfts and hustling and Amazon and FedEx and this job, that job, that temp agency, that audition, that movie set, everything that's happening within your reality. God has a way of pausing us. And that's what I believe is happening right now. Too busy for our own kids. Even when we're home with our kids, most of us got so many things going on in our minds. We're present, but we're not present. We're in their presence, but we're not present. What you got going on now? Where you going? Ain't nothing happening. Ain't nothing going on. Nobody's busy. No flights. No traveling. No clubs. No turnups. Nothing. There's some people that will decide that they still want to upload their videos twerking. They still want to show us what the ass is looking like from many different angles. They still want to pose in front of that car or show us a bunch of materialistic things that don't matter. Nothing about your timeline is going to be on fire right now about anything that you do because everybody's in a state of panic. And in the midst of panicking, there's this concept that I just can't get out of my head. Most of us, most of us are true narcissists. And we have made a living from narcissism in the capacity of self-belief. The word narcissism is in most cases tied into a negativity, but you cannot believe in yourself or have the level of self-confidence or oof to deal with pushback and feedback and opinions and critiques and niggas constantly beating you down and tearing you down and talking shit about you behind your back. You over here pillow talking or sharing secrets with your homies and families. They throwing shit in your face when, when things hit the fan. Everything is super fragile. So for you to believe in yourself and be able to push through all of this shit, you have to be able to tap into a level of narcissism and self-belief in order to push through all of this stuff that the world does to you and pushes up on you. But there is something very interesting that God keeps telling me. And please forgive me, God, for cursing while I'm mentioning your name. Mm. When God hit that pause button and you stop, there is no handsome, there is no talent, there is no car, there is no twerk. There is no nothing that you can do that can change anything about anything that's going on. 
The only man that can change it all is the Lord Jesus Christ. That's it. That's it. I want y'all to understand. We have made it about us. We believe that we are the source. We treat God as if he's a resource. I'm the source. You're just a resource. Right now, we are all reminded that if you don't know the Lord, if you don't know Jesus, if you don't know Allah, if you don't know Buddhism, if you don't know um, Judaism, uh, whatever your religious beliefs are, you better get to know something because you're not enough to fix any of this. This is a time for you to pause. This is a time to sit still, look at your husband, look at your wife, and have those conversations that you were too busy to have. This is a time to really focus on family. This is a time for you to sit up with your kids and finally make time to do what we normally only find time to do around Thanksgiving or birthdays or Christmas or New Year's or holidays, Memorial Day, Martin Luther King. Wait, Dr. King birthday every year and we get three days off. Let's spend some time. And so everything about our quality time has been fragmented and we're just giving people just enough. But the Lord Jesus Christ said, pause. We are not over Kobe Bryant. You are not over your friend, your cousin, your family member, your grandmother that you lost. This is a time for us to go on the internet and look at Bishop T.D. Jakes and Creflo Dollar and Pastor John Gray and the other Pastor Steve and Pastor Keon and tap into Kim Burrell and Tasha Cobb Leonard and and Todd Galberth and uh, Smokey Norfolk and every other powerful man and woman of God, Leandria Johnson, Kirk Franklin, Bishop Ulmer, this is a time for us to sit down because we all got Wi-Fi. We all got our phones. This is a time for us to sit down and look up mental health videos. Any and everything around anxiety. This is a time for us to take better care of our health. This is a time for us to, to tap into all that we know about being born and raised in the hood. Now, some of y'all are stressed out because Whole Foods gonna be closed. We ain't have no Whole Foods in the hood. Something about the survival instincts of a hood nigga is real. Right now, we ain't worried about all that bougie shit. We ain't worried about the fact that the dog won't be able to get groomed. This is when survival instincts kicks in. This is when it's real. Oh my God. This is reality. This is when it's about you, your survival instincts, and God. I ain't never watched so many movies with my wife in my life. I'm sitting up, baby, what's your favorite TV show? Oh, lately I've been watching this TV show called 90 Day Fiance. What is that? We sitting up watching it together. All kind of shit that I never had time to do. Pause.
Thank you, Jesus.